Hi, and welcome to Writing Down Your Soul. I'm Janet Connor. The first question people ask me is, what is writing down your soul? And the short answer is, it's a conversation. It's a conversation, but it's not like any conversation you've had before. It's a conversation between you at a very deep soul level and the consciousness that created you. So people say, hmm, nice answer, but guess what? You're sitting in a chair with a blank book called a journal in front of you. Your writing looks like journaling. And the answer is no. This is not journaling, not in the traditional sense of journaling. We're taking journaling to a whole new place. And here's why. When you write down your soul, three things happen simultaneously. First, you exit conscious mind. And let me tell you, this is important. You so want to exit conscious mind. Now think about it. Your problems are in conscious mind, right? You know what you're worried about. You know what you want to accomplish in life. You know what new thing, what new direction, what new answers you need. If those answers were in conscious mind, you'd know them, right? You wouldn't be struggling to try to answer your questions. They'd be right there in conscious mind. So obviously, your answers are not in conscious mind. Jack Hanfield said this so elegantly and funny in an email that he sent a couple months ago. In great big red letters, the email said, Stop using conscious mind to solve problems. Use it to make dinner. And he's right. He's right. Your answers are not in conscious mind. And when you write down your soul in the way that I suggest in this book, you are leaving conscious mind. So the other thing that happens, number one, you're out of conscious mind. Number two, you begin to hear your story. Not the story you've told to your sister and your mother and your kids. So many times you're sick of it yourself. You begin to hear the story behind the story. You begin to finally get in touch with your voice, your authentic voice, your very soul. When you write down your soul, you are going to become best friends with yourself. And the third thing that happens is you connect with and you activate that still small voice, that wise voice within, it doesn't matter what you call it. If you come from a religious tradition, you might call that God. If you come from a more spiritual place, you might like to call that divine mind, infinite intelligence, cosmic mind, source energy. Doesn't matter what you call it. The point is that when you exit conscious mind, connect with your authentic self, you also activate that voice. And when you're in touch with that voice, you can ask for and receive the guidance and direction you want to live the life you're here to live. So, okay, if you're out of conscious mind, if you're listening to your soul, if you're connecting with the voice, we're not journaling anymore. We're in a whole new place. We're writing down our souls. So welcome to the conversation. Welcome to Writing Down Your Soul. To learn more, come to writingdownyoursoul.com, www.writingdownyoursoul.com. You can purchase Writing Down Your Soul in any bookstore, church bookstore, commercial bookstore, retail online bookstore. Welcome to Writing Down Your Soul. Welcome to the conversation that will change your life.